Uh, hello everybody, it's Nick here and we are going to do our weekly outlook. Uh, we want to look for some new setups that we might uh, get next week and also discuss some already open positions that uh, were um, um, that you did talk about like during last week's live trading room and everything. So let's start quickly from here. That's the Australian dollar, US dollar daily chart. We can draw a nice uh, support line from down here. And um, we had some aggressive short trades, bounce trades using the combination of these really like weekly higher time frames with other words weekly daily and lower time frame combinations we had a trend line break and also setups on lower time frames to take shorts here either more aggressively uh, as bounce trades in the combina with, with the combinations of the higher time frames one two threes spikes bounce trades again or again one two three setups after the breaks um, in, in this case the Australian dollar US dollar did not really retrace much the existing trend line here the extension of it looks like this price was not able to really retrace back to here it stopped at the 12 EMA the second time after breaking our 633 it actually retraced back uh, um, almost hit the 36 and 633 in the same area and then bounce so we got like late entries again on this four hourly chart you could have checked of course uh, um, lower time frame entries like the four hourly and one hourly combination also five minute combinations and during the live sessions here uh, some shorts were triggered and you were waiting for some setup so whatever if you are still in great what you have to do is really just letting it ju just leave it running because it looks beautiful look price is going down um, you have horizontal resistance here now acting as support but it did break this after the one two three that was visible here on the four hourly and the one hourly chart and price is really below that so no reason for us to get out we can dr draw a line like this now or you could actually take the line from here and connect the two touches in combination with the 36 it's more or less the same it's a different angle and just let it go always look at the lowest parts if you have on this downtrend lower lows lower highs you keep on watching uh, for short setups no long setups as long as the red line the 36 on the four hour is strong for closer look of course the 36 also on the one hourly as long as the price is staying below here only shorts but for new setups we really need uh, a, a confirmation we need this price to retrace now right now is Sunday so I would say like uh, tomorrow morning if price could retrace back to here um, then we get another one two three at that point we can look for either bounces spikes in this area to take more shorts now if we have a lack of volatility remember tomorrow is like Monday Monday is not always a good day to trade so um, if we don't have much volatility we just wait to see something really good happening here and then we start trading this on Tuesday now if you're already in as I said you just leave it and wait for lower lows and lower highs only if price really breaks this line on the one hourly or the 36 EMA on the four hourly and creates like higher lows then you have to start uh, uh, looking to get out of this trade other than that I would really keep it if I just get rid of all lines here um, horizontal support a resistance up here you can see even on the weekly chart price could really just do two things here it could bounce at some point in this area because we have some support here and go up and then you have a big big weekly one two three and can start looking for longs or it will really just go lower and lower the extension of this here the 36 EMA means that our next area of support would be first here 
and then lower down here where we have more touches this could be another 200 to 300 plus pips profits for the remaining position especially when you are in since the bounce is up here great then it's like 500 pips or below that break maybe 300 and you have another two three hundred to go I would just leave the remaining lot running and try to create uh, make like as, as as many pips and profits as possible okay uh, we'll see tomorrow tomorrow actually we start also our live trading room don't forget that we go live here tomorrow tomorrow is the 16th yeah um, in case you don't know how to find it let me just quickly before we continue uh, you go to our website spartantradefx.com click on programs um, and then you'll see here Spartan Life that's where you click to read the details and sign Hi up there. you will see me talking again here like always you can scroll down and you see the buy now but now the good thing is it's a trial and for one week it's for free I think it's one dollar uh, but even if you think uh, that was too much then you can ask for your dollar back in case you don't like it we hope you love it and you stay with us right but uh, that's the way to go and uh, I really hope to see you all there it will be great we have like three or four people actually uh, teaching and helping you it will be personally me tomorrow to start with then we have uh, Yanis and we have Tomek we have also Jeff and we are going to do like special sessions and special seminars uh, only for our members there and of course for our premium members at the same time uh, it will be fun for sure and very very profitable hopefully as long as the markets are good to us of course right um, again Australian dollar US dollar weekly it's done we have big big red candles we wait uh, GBP US dollar just to take a look starting from the weekly we have a big big weekly one two three we also have extension we can just draw a big line from up here extended and you'll see it's ending up exactly here where we had the spike you can also find a horizontal area of support in this uh, on this chart here and you'll see it's ending up more or less in the same area and really when we have uh, support or resistance uh, uh, um, meeting like a trend line here and a, a horizontal line from here and it's all meeting up in this area this is really just usually very 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 powerful and we have to look for bounces and trades there it's a shame if we don't do do that and you can see on the daily chart touch on the 200 trend line of course we changed the time uh, frame and then the lines are not that good anymore but ending up here as you can see touch on the 200 trend line horizontal support and resistance meeting in one place this is really like dynamite really really powerful uh, what we want is uh, after the bounce what happened we took some shorts down here it took out most of the profits on the short on this one uh, as I mentioned also in the live room but uh, I kept the position so why because we this just looked like a one two three right um, and it didn't only look like it it was one a good one and we never know price can always bounce and go back up and do something like that so we left the position running in the end price came down and I was not even able to manage the remaining lot but that's how it is so last lot got stopped out down here which is okay was a good trade all in all with the two positions uh, positions left and now what happens is price is really breaking this area and we want to be careful because we have a little bit of support here in combinations with all these uh, areas ranging areas here uh, extension of this up there but it looks like at least for now it doesn't look like it wants to go up uh, if it really goes down what we need on the four hourly chart is a setup we would like to see a one two three setup below here and so something like that and then we can start trading this it would be even great if it could happen below that line on the one hourly or four hourly chart okay 
GBP CHF this is a long against the weekly main trend but it looked so nice on the daily that I personally took it on the daily chart and since last week where we took it it went up to like it went against us about 50 pips or 60 and then in profit about 100 and right now it's more or less at break even it's not going anywhere yet okay we don't know what's going to happen but daily one two threes are always interesting and always worth trying especially when it's the fr when it's the first setup after break so that's what I did and I still have to wait so uh, it doesn't look good for new setups right now on the lower time frames there's really nothing going on we have a range here or you we have kind of a wedge it's not worth touching this until uh, uh, this is really going somewhere I would prefer for this pr uh, for the price to go out uh, to to break out in this direction just because I'm long <laughs> but if it doesn't money management in place no stress and we, are, uh, we will all be happy uh, whatever happens because if it's going down okay then we have a reason to look for something else but it, in this case if it's really going down uh, it will probably start ranging a little bit so we have to wait uh, um, because this looks like it could retrace more before going down yeah that's why we took the long in first place so we just watch this one is not that volatile it won't take much time to just uh, monitor and check I don't have any other positions running right now uh, I didn't trade much but I know that you have um, you took a lot of trades last week you sent over charts you did um, trade a lot during the live trading sessions some aggressive setups uh, we call aggressive setups aggressive because they are sometimes either very early or very late it's not um, necessarily a bad word or negative word aggressive just means fast or sometimes a little bit slow but it really depends on how you look at it um, we got some bounce trades that bounced a little bit about 140 pips and then went down so on this pair Australian dollar New Zealand dollar it doesn't really look uh, that good anymore the only line we can use is this one here yeah, and you can change the angle of this one really a little bit it's it's a little bit I would say really huh it's I don't know word for that one uh, it's just not um, a serious line I would say yeah because you can find different angles to draw that one and so it becomes one of those lines where you can use your fantasy therefore I like if I see something like that I either do it like this or I just draw a horizontal line in an area where I have the most touches like here and then I say okay I ignore that one and now for me uh, important would be or more important would be this one and if price really wants to go down you can see it's also range then I pay attention to the touch here and if it's bouncing we then take a look if it's bra breaking we're looking for setups below here and because on the daily chart it's pushing and really kind of steep uh, we can take the four hourly chart now that we have a little bit of history and we can start drawing a line because before we had a range and was not easy to do we'll see if it goes back up to here and it's kind of um, you know bouncing and then we can use the lower time frames to look for entries but this is not the best pair to trade uh, uh, um, just by looking at the setup I don't like it really we keep an eye on it Euro US dollar is interesting because we had a bounce sell here it did not go in our way um, more than 100 pips and then it turned and I had a bounce short which actually got stopped out uh, without before taking I guess profits and then it spiked but what happened here it spiked really big time on the weekly chart and because we know that this is a, a nice range what I really would like to do or what I, I did it already a placing an order and as I see now because I didn't check the chart since uh, two days ago I got filled already I thought I didn't but now that I look at the chart uh, because I placed an order to sell this 
uh, um, pair again as a bounce below here and it's it's probably in the stop shouldn't be over that spike if you want to do it a little bit more let's say conservative because on the four hourly chart you already have a lower high and that means that you just need to place your stop over that previous high either here or over that spike but the spike is fake so this is enough and if you didn't catch the bounce short or you didn't place an order aggressively below the area of horizontal resistance now you have to wait for setup and that's fine what you need to wait for is a one two three two to three line break and then you can use either this time frame or in combination with the low to get in if price really wants to move lower looks like it it could still bounce because look you still have higher uh, lows on the daily chart right so it could still bounce and go back up and then uh, it would be over and you have to manage the trade but if it does not bounce again and it moves lower then you have a big chance of this turning into a powerful swing short and you can really target first of all of course the middle of that range but long term uh, the lows down here which maybe give you like six seven hundred pips we'll see we'll see it's worth trying with low risk um, euro yen did not retrace back to this line the extension of here didn't even touch and you have a red candle so it seems like it wants to go down but because we have all this horizontal area of support here uh, I would like to look at it as a wedge and I won't touch it until price moves down and breaks this line or the range in between here or a break out of this area and then setups over here in the lower time frames but for that again we have remember like two sessions every day we'll figure it out tomorrow uh, USD CAD here I didn't also didn't check this chart so I'll have to take a look now little bit of support here it spiked moved up so it looks like we get a one two three now on that weekly chart on the daily a higher low so price is breaking that line for good also bouncing on the 36 but now moving higher so it really looks long here uh, on the four hourly chart um, this would be the break and we really want to see now another one two three ideally a higher high higher low in the four hourly to go with the flow and go long against the short main trend just also in lower time frames we can try one hourly to make some pips against this main trend would be great uh, again we check tomorrow on the one hourly what you need if you don't already if you haven't already taken this I think some of you sent some USD cat charts maybe it was this area I don't remember actually but if then lower time frame would be like a one hourly one two three if we can get this there is a lot of support either this line you can do it in a different angle to try the longs okay uh, GBP Australian dollar the extension of this line now we have a line coming from the weekly also visible on the daily this is always very very powerful these extensions uh, don't forget it and price is hitting or reaching this area um, right now so it did already hit that area like starting on Thursday and Friday but it's pushing towards the 200 EMA getting really close if we can get a daily candle here that spikes this would be probably a good opportunity to short this for now the main trend is also short right remember it's a big big weekly short one two three but we need signs still it's kind of pushing up on the lower time frames still creating higher highs and higher lows so for sure we don't go short at that point but we monitor really closely if it could spike here and then break that and go down then either aggressive with orders or one two threes here to trade the shorts early 
could be a powerful hundred or even a couple of hundreds or even thousand pips or more long-term trade now yeah. something you want to monitor is that this one because it's it's it looks good I keep it on my left side and we'll check your uh, euro Australian <coughs> dollar also we know what's going on here but we don't have any new setup so on a daily we want a good retracement before we take new longs if you're already long just stay in there you know how to manage it here is your trend line you have this wedge in making so this is really like kind of losing power right now you can draw a line like this you can also do it like that and then you'll see okay if we get this setups below here if we get that we start going along maybe we see something happening here again live on Monday okay I'll keep that one because it's an interesting setup also my left um, silver we are waiting for this daily one two three probably also like a weekly one because we didn't get any could take a while look at this could take a while either it's retracing to the 36 and then we get a break or we'll go lower so we'll take a look and we'll check tomorrow what about the euro CHF this is interesting because it didn't just go up and up and up reaching the high it retraced back now to the line closer to the 36 broke the 12 we also horizontal previous resisting acting uh, resistance sorry acting as support here we want to see what is going to happen here uh, it looks interesting really on the four hourly chart what do we need if we're already short nothing we just keep it but if it start bouncing the 36 here this is our area of interest if price is breaking and we get this you know what to do but if it goes up we might get also opportunities remember daily long one two three to check for setups over here on the one hourly chart or in combination maybe with the four hour and five minute again we'll see these these setups are not ready yet but we we check we are watching closely like the USD yen is um, hitting the 36 again it's always bouncing on it you'll see on the weekly chart uh, the only issue is here that we have the horizontal support again right so we have this and this and this and price is bouncing on it it could be just a reaction because of that the pressure is still there it's for sure short and price is sitting exactly at the 36 what we want is ideally again a bounce why because the higher time frames are just pointing down if we can get a break here tomorrow we will check and see if we can get some good setups below here and another one that I'm watching there are much more and I know that uh, some of you have like 10 pairs more it's all great I'm just sharing uh, the pairs that I'm watching plus the positions that I have still running and I wanna uh, you know share this with you but um, what I don't like about the GBP JPY is the fact that we don't have higher highs or lower lows and lower lo uh, lower highs it's it's a range I really don't like this as it looks so what I do is I draw a horizontal line like this and I also do it like that ignore the spikes and if I don't get anything good below here or above here I will probably not touch it the weekly is 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 down yes but we don't get setups for intraday traders of course this is a one two three on the four hourly chart it looks interesting if you get a setup here on the one hourly you can always try and combine with the lower time frames no problem okay just one thing do, don't forget ever money management never expose your account to more than one percent in the beginning if you have grown your account I don't know by two five ten twenty percent you can start exposing it to two percent maybe 
uh, um, if you want to trade multiple pairs three or four or five then you have to split the risk between the positions 0 0.2 let's say per position to have an all uh, uh, overall risk of 1% let's say and then it doesn't really matter if things work out great or not it will not harm your account at all it's always about money management so you can have always like a positive mindset traders mindset and uh, great confidence because if you mess up money management it will kill the confidence if there's no confidence you probably long term will kill your account all the bad thoughts and emotions coming out so try to control this not easy but if you apply money management and you know that you think in percentage and not only in pips pips is good to begin with to have bigger targets to just you know count easy but later on you want to uh, focus on money management rules and start growing that account really just because of uh, thinking correctly having the right mindset will grow that account if you understand what's going on on the charts um, thanks for watching if you like what I'm doing here and um, if you have any you know things you want to ask or add you can uh, comment it below here on YouTube or give it a like then we know that it, it's good for you right uh, catch up with you soon I see you tomorrow in the live room we start uh, 8 a.m. London time 8 a.m. London time which is 10 my time yeah 8 8 a.m. London time with me tomorrow and again quickly for the guys that didn't catch up at the beginning of the video uh, you go to the Spartan website SpartanTraderFX.com and then uh, you click on programs um, you will find it there and it will bring you to this page and here's the Spartan live that's the Spartan live room click here for more info and Hi there. Uh, you will see me here and you just scroll down you can read everything all the details and you just sign up with your one week trial uh, no risk at all clicking on buy now here at Clickbank okay we'll bring you see how that looks by the way bring you to this page and it says what here one euro or something like that yeah and then there you go okay see you soon uh, thanks and bye